you know what time of year it is. It's Franken time. If you have been watching my Project Pan, then you'll be familiar with this palette, and you'll know that I have finished these two highlighting shades. So, I wanted to create a new highlighter and frag in this blush to be slightly lighter and a cooler tone just because it doesn't look dark, but on me, it's just a tad bit too dark for me to want to use it a ton. So I wanna make it more approachable and I'm probably gonna repress this as well just because we're here and it's only a matter of time until I'll want to repress it anyways. I think I'm gonna start with the Franken highlight. These two eyeshadows were from the e.l.f. The New Classics palette. One of the oldest palettes I still have in my collection. I got it in December of 2019, I think, for Christmas. I want to franken these together to make kind of a light pinkish shade. So hopefully that'll work. These are a really nice formula. They're just on the older side and there's no way I can finish them up as eyeshadows as quickly as I can finish them up as highlighters. So there we have the highlighter. As you can see, it's actually pretty full. So let's see how long that'll take. I will swatch it once it's dry. Hopefully it's gonna be a nice pale pinky blushy shade that'll pair really well with blushes. And I think just to stay with the easy stuff, I'm just gonna repress this shade right here before I get to the Franken up here. It made me a little bit excited when I found myself kind of struggling to cover the entire pan evenly and get the corners, but now that I see it, there's a lot of blush left. To make this a tiny bit lighter, I wanted to add a bit of this matte white eyeshadow. I accidentally put way too much alcohol, so now I'm gonna have to make a bigger batch.
seeing how kind of crumbly and fragile this is makes me want to just frank in this top one as well heck why not let's just have three blushes right um but i'm trying to decide between because i have limited options since i didn't bring all my makeup to this pet sitting gig <laughs> so i'm deciding between frankening it with this milani baked blush in rosa romantica or this pale shimmery shade which was in the Profusion Mauves palette, which is a gorgeous formula as an eyeshadow, and I've also used it as a face highlight before. Now that my hands are thoroughly covered in blush and highlighter, <laughs> I have an entirely new blush and highlighter palette. I didn't want to use too much of this eyeshadow and make it too thin. Um, and since whenever I use this, I seem to use like right up here, I kind of just flatten it out by scraping off this area down here. Okay, so this is the part that makes me a little bit more nervous because I am very comfortable with repressing powders, but when it comes to cream frankens it's a completely different rodeo so i know i want to use this lip balm as my base just because it's just a normal chapstick and it's just kind of meh you know um i plan on making two franken lip balms one in here and then one in here once it's empty and the reason is because i don't really like this shade right here it just doesn't look good on me. It's way too orange. So I want to use it in Frankens instead. So for Franken number one, I'm going to cut off this half right here. And then I'm going to use half of this lip balm. I want to Franken it with these two shades just because I think that they might tone down the really oranginess to it. Um, this is a purple. So it's probably gonna end up making it bright. I just don't know how much to cut off. The first time I cut it, I made it a really weird shape. And in trying to fix the shape, I probably put way too much purple in this mixture, but it's too late now. So what can we do, you know? Um, yeah, this is very experimental. So I wanna try to mix them up while they're still firm, just because I know once I melt them, it's gonna be a very small window of time for them to actually pour well before it starts cooling down and hardening while I pour. Cause I've done this before, it's been a long time, but I do remember that. Okay, so I rolled this mechanism completely down. So once I melt it, I can just pour it directly into it. I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and see if that works. So that was kind of a disaster. <laughs> Not only did it take 
forever to melt. Half the time, by the time I took it out of the microwave, it already started solidifying again. So a tiny bit would fall into there, but the rest I just scooped up and pushed into there. And I'll have to clean a lot of it up, which wastes a lot of product. I think at one point I used a shot glass, so I wonder if the, the glass helped heat it up and keep it hot for a bit longer than the plastic. I'm gonna try this glass one and try not to burn myself. Hoping that it will actually make this next one melt more. I think I made this one work okay, but it's cooling down, so time will only tell. <laughs> Okay, so I can finally throw away this because it broke and the lid's broken and it was just some lip balm in the base. I'm going to keep this for a future empties video whenever I finish this. And these two lipsticks look okay. I don't use them so much that I'm going to be like, oh no, they look ugly, you know? I don't really care about that. Um, I'm going to wait till these cool to swatch them and see how they turn out. I'm a little scared. I have no idea how this turned out. So this is what the palette looks like when it's dry. So now I'm going to insert a clip of me swatching them. So this is what it looks like in the order. You can see the one that I just repressed right above that Franken at the bottom, which I think is going to be really pretty and pinky. I feel like the top one, I didn't change the blush at all except for make it shimmery, so it's still a bit dark, but the highlighter looks like it's going to work, so that's good.